Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you've been well. It's been a little while since our last face-to-face -face episode. As you can tell, the space has been refreshed a little bit. We've got less boring gray wall and more fun things to look at now, including a bookshelf. So if you have any suggestions on what to fill it with, leave those in the comments. As for the Machen stamp from episode two, still gonna hang that up. Whether or not it'll be canvas, I don't know. Le Toton is the only canvas print up there right now. I can't seem to find the transfer sheets that I bought originally and used to make that with. So we'll figure that out and we'll put the Machen on the, on the bookshelf when that happens. So today we're gonna talk about postcards and stationery. What else is new? These are some new acquisitions I got of postcards and stationery products. I was told it is National Small Business Week this week, so what better time to talk about some of the shops that I bought from and do a little bit of a product review for the channel. Uh, before we get started, I will note there is no sponsored content of any kind in this video. There are no sponsorships. There are no affiliate links. I'm not paid to give my opinion. I bought all these products with my own money and all the thoughts and opinions I'm about to share with you are my own. So in no particular order, here are some of the new postcards that I got, starting with M. Burke Art, M. Burke Art. So we've got two designs here, one of a green heron and the other of what's called spring ephemerals. So these are very cool designs. This is really a beautiful piece of artwork in postcard size, I'd say. Um, so the green heron looks like it's on a twig or a branch, and it looks like almost metallic ink in the feathers that was used to draw or paint this. I'm not sure. Very cool looking. And so is the spring ephemerals card. There's a lot going on here, and I love it. A lot of fauna and flora in this image. And on the back in the inscription, it says there's bloodroot, squirrel corn, toad shade, and jack in the pulpit. What is Jack in the Pulpit? Oh, it's a plant. Duh. Wow. That is cool. All right. Well, I didn't know that. I've got a plant named after me. That's cool. <laughs> but yeah, these, these cards are really beautiful. I'm really happy to have these in my collection now. So thank you, Maria. She also included a note card which says, Jack, thank you so much for supporting my art. I hope you enjoy. Have a wonderful spring. Well, Maria, I am enjoying these very much. Thank you. Next, we have two beautiful postcards from Rachel, who is Highlands Artistry. These are two postcards of, I believe, the Adirondack Mountains. And they're absolutely stunning. They are hand-painted works of art. And I love them. I love how the colors are vibrant. I love how it's a scene of the mountains. One is a, a scene of a barn with the mountain in the background. And then we have another one of, of a green forest scene also with a mountain. And Rachel included a little note. It said, Jack, thank you. I hope you, I hope you love your postcards, Rachel. Well, Rachel, I can tell you I love them a lot. So thank you very, very much. So this is really cool. This is a stationary set from Light in the Mailbox. And I don't know if you can see this, but the envelope it came in is stitched together. There's stitching in the envelope itself, which I think is a first for me, which is very cool. It's like sewn, almost sewn together, the two pieces, which is very unique. And this is actually a stationary set. So this comes with um, a notepad. This is the Moon and Clouds set, I believe is what it's called. It's got stickers, uh, labels. It's got a note, notepad there, a little some note, note paper, and a nice note from Sasha says, thank you, Jack, and some really beautiful, almost like midnight blue envelopes within the set. So I'm excited to use these and send these out to friends and family. These postcards are from Send More Love. This is from Send More Love. These are probably the funniest postcards I've bought ever. These are really cute designs. This one says, Donut Worry, 
be happy with a little smiley face in the donut. And then the other one, which very well be, may be one of my favorite postcards ever, which is cake disguised as breakfast. I love it. And what's cool about these on the back is that it has um, a squiggly line instead of a straight line to differentiate the writing side and the address side on the, on the writing side of the postcard, the message side and the address side. And so I like how it's kind of blended together. It makes for a really unique postcard. And it comes with a note too from Ruth. So Ruth wrote, thank you so much for your purchase, Jack. I hope you enjoy. I do enjoy. Thank you, Ruth. I love these. So this next set is from Honora Papers. This is a set of 10 blank variety postcards. I believe in the description, they were called Matisse inspired cards. They are abstract art. I love abstract art. As soon as I saw them on the listing, I knew I had to have them and What's cool about this, this is from Christina, the shop owner. She also included a little card that said, thanks so much for your order. I hope these bring you joy from Christina. Um, Christina gets bonus points because she's from New Jersey. She's a New Jersey artist. So I love supporting local artists. I love how it's abstract. So I am very happy to include these in my collection and I'm having a hard time picking a favorite. So this set is from Tiny Kate Plans. This is of a blue whale. I love this design a lot. I love blue whales. I, well, I love all animals. I know I said I already love elephants the most. I think maybe blue whales are my favorite ocean animal. Regardless, I love the design so much. I love how there's a textured background behind the elephant. I like how there's bubbles too. That's really cool. So I'm very excited to add these to my collection. I look forward to sending these out with Post Crossing and to fam some family and friends. And last but not least, we have Sandesa. Sandesa. My apologies if I pronounce that wrong. This, uh, this note is from Grace. This says, thank you for your order and I hope you enjoy. The note card says, Sandesa, Sandesa was founded to inspire each other to slow down and embrace the small but mighty power of a handwritten letter born out of love for a playful design. We hope your letters recipients enjoy reading your notes and crafting them into beautiful origami sculptures just as much as you like sending them. So that's the really cool part about these stationary sets is that you get some note paper to write on beautiful design absolutely gorgeous design i think this is really cool and then when you you write on them you send them to your recipient but there's also instructions here on how to make them into an origami sculpture so i thought this was super unique and i definitely wanted to try this as soon as i saw it i wanted to, to buy it and and give it a try this is a really well-made set I'm really excited to write on these and send them out with the instructions. And then maybe maybe I'll keep one for myself to try and in making into an origami sculpture that could be really cool to put onto the bookshelf for future episodes. So that is it for today's episode. I wanted to highlight some of the purchases that I got. Now that I have more postcards in my collection, I can now send postcards again to friends, family, and continue sending post-crossing postcards with these beautiful works of art that I got today. So I'm very excited to do that. I'm really happy I was able to share this with you all. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up. If you have any comments, you know where to put them right down below in the comments box. You can always reach out to me at JetPhilTelix on Instagram, and I will see you in the next episode.